Hello everyone, Joel Tuesday again. Got another great video for you. I'm on the Brookville sub over here, just north of the Valley Yard. We got a train coming on this branch here. Haven't filmed one in a long time, and here they come right now, right on time. Start the video, son. It's gonna be a good one. Well, that was a little short train, but it's better than nothing. Been a long time, so I got a train on this line. Let's go up and get them again. That was pretty cool. But wait, there's more, of course, those is. We're gonna get to the other side of the train. I'm over here at mile 19.5. Gonna watch them go over the little bridge here. Look how small the rail is. That's really light pound rail. Now past this point, the only customer they've got is uh, where they're taking that grain to. And I forgot the name of it. So they're coming from that way right there. We're gonna see them come across this bridge. All right, they're just now passing the spur that goes to Valley Asphalt. That's that new spur they put in a few years back that I filmed. That's just right up there. It's the second railroad crossing. Boy, it's a dismal day today. Cold, rainy, gloomy looking. But at least we got a train. There they go, headed northbound. Yeah, this is the Brookville sub, and this line used to be active all the way to Brookville until a few years ago. The tracks got washed out. This is a small branch line, it's got really light pound rail. It's not the best looking track in the world. I was trying to find a date on this rail section right here, but I couldn't find any. Uh, one thing, there's a lot of mud. So you have a look at the crossing here. You came out, I see the rail. See that? And the sides of the rail back there just sunken down in the, in the mud so much, I can't find a date. I got in front of the trains. Coming from that way, they go so slow through here, it's really, really easy to get in front of them. And then there's the line going north that way towards Brookville, which they don't go that way anymore. This is a line that's got the track only about nine feet from the house that I filmed uh, right before they closed the line down. I filmed the train going through there. All right, they'll be here in a second. 
All right, here they come. Now this scene right here is in 4K at 60 frames per second. Everything else has been in 1080. Wow, was that cool or what? This is short line railroading at its best. Small branch line, only one customer passed this point right here, so it's not used that much. Let's have a look at the rail after it went through. Oh yeah, dug it out. There you go. Let's have a closer look. There you go, the old before and after on the rail at a crossing. Pretty cool. All right, you check this out. I'm now in Indiana. I'm in Harrison, Indiana. Uh, I don't know if you call it West Harrison or whatever, but I found a spot on the rail where I can actually see the date and everything. It says 1917. Rolled in 1917. Um, Illinois, right there. I don't see a pound, but the trains will be coming from this way right over here through that nice close clearance. Here comes the train right now. Cool, look at this. This is where the police department's at, that building right there. It says it right there, West Harrison. Now this is 4K at 30 frames per second. I think I messed up on that last shot. Did it in 60, I meant to do it 30. Hope that, Hope that won't make any difference. Here comes a train through a really close clearance. Wow, was that cool or what? West Harrison, Indiana. Did I see a chair over here get hit? Oh, it did, look. <laughs> that chair got hit by the train. <laughs> okay, everyone, thanks for watching. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna get a better train, a longer train, I should say, somewhere along the Ohio River. So don't go away yet, we got more to come. Getting rained on a little bit. But wait, there's more. Of course there always is. All right. I didn't have any luck along the Ohio River over there. While I was up there on the branch, I heard a CSX train going by. But I was about eight miles away from it. And by the time I got there, it was long gone. I waited for almost a couple hours. Nothing else went through. Maintenance way was on the tracks working on both the INO and the CSX line. So I came over here just north of Queensgate Yard to see if I can catch something over here. I can always catch something on this line. 
This is the line that still has the old b &O signal still in use down there. There's a bridge over Mill Creek. So I'm not sure how many miles I am from where my last stop was, maybe 20 or so. But Queensgate Yard is that way. There's going to be a train coming from that direction. So let's catch that train and see what else is going on over here. Keep the video going. All right, here we go. Look at this. Rival power, Union Pacific. Alright, dropping the signal. They still use those old Baltimore, Ohio signals. Those are rare anymore. Norfolk Southern Crane Train. That's a long one. That's a good one. Those old B and O signals are going to be replaced. I'm not sure when. I was told they already had replacement signals for them at Queensgate Yard. I guess as long as they keep working, they'll still be there. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. That was pretty cool. That's a good green train. I was hoping for a DPU, but we had foreign power, which we also call rival power. So that was just as cool. Now right over here, somewhere in here is, is where the ashes were dumped from that, that rail fan. Um, I had that video up showing the cross with, um, it was all decorated and everything. I took that, that video a few years ago. And I don't remember exactly where that was at, but it was somewhere on this little knob. It got vandalized and the whole area got overgrown. So I can't find any remnants of it now.
All right, maybe there's another train coming, I hope. Let's catch another train. All right, we do have another train coming. This time we got it southbound. I just heard them on the radio, called out NA Tower. And um, the best frequencies here are, are 160.230 for CSX, 160.440 for Norfolk Southern. So we got the train coming right now. Look at all this trash though. Every time I come here, I pick up a little bit of this trash, but there's just so much of it. I don't know how you could clean this place up. And here comes the train over across Mill Creek. The Mill Creek Bridge. Short train. Well, that's just a little short one. I was hoping for a long term of a DPU, but nope. Anyways, if everybody would just pick up some of this trash every time you come here, it would really help. I'm going to pick up this stuff, all this stuff right here. I'm going to get this. Every time I go to get gas, I drop off trash. Okay, let's get some of this. All right, guess what, folks? I'm getting really lucky because we got an INO train. I just heard them on the scanner going through NA Tower southbound. So I'm going to get another INO train here today. It's going to be coming across the bridge this direction. So I'm getting lucky. More INO action today. Pretty good. I was trying to get a good shot coming over the Mill Creek Bridge. But this might be the best I can get. Otherwise you can't see the train very well. It is INO. All right. Looks like they might have that Ohio Central locomotive on it. Sweet.
right, there you go. That was a good one. That was a lucky catch over here. Usually when you come here, you're lucky. If you're here six or seven hours, you get to see one INO train. So I haven't been here that long, less than a couple hours. I got to see that one there. So that was pretty good. Thanks for watching everyone, it was pretty awesome. Especially with that, that locomotive on there, Ohio Central locomotive. It's a nice catch. All right, here we go, got another train. A CSX, finally. Well, there you go, some action from the CSX. I like those Winchester and Western covered hoppers on the rear of the train there. I used to see those going up to uh, Brookville, Indiana on the Indiana, Ohio line before they closed that down. They closed it down because of washouts, probably about eight years or so ago, somewhere in that area. But I remember they used to ship shingle grit in those up, up to uh, Brookville. So that's pretty cool seeing them down here. And thanks for watching. Okay, thanks for watching my video. I really appreciate your support. Your viewing time is what pays the gas. So if you have time, watch another video because every view really helps my channel. We've got the slideshow coming up and maybe we'll see something from the pets. Thanks for watching, everyone.